News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson is also in Kansas City tonight. Scott, you spoke with fans from both sides about this game. What did they say? I did, Janice. It was an interesting dynamic out here as I left uh, Arrowhead Stadium here earlier tonight. I want to put some video up as we're leaving tonight. We're flooded with thousands and thousands of Chiefs fans, but also several hundred Jaguars fans, maybe a few thousand. There were a lot that were exiting this stadium tonight. I caught up with many of them. Something I did not hear was utter disappointment, like, oh, how did we lose this huge game? It was, we really couldn't believe we were here. No one expected us to do this well. Fans are hopeful for the future of this franchise. The Jacksonville Jaguars had a wonderful season this year. Think about how we started. To have the opportunity to play Kansas City here, lose here, and then come back and start a wonderful comeback season that brought us all the way down to the point where we can even go to the playoffs, host a playoff game in Jacksonville, that is why we were so excited to get to come out to Kansas City just in case. We hung in there. Um, I was expecting a lot more, but um, it, this happens. I mean, we they got a great team, great defense, great quarterback. I think it was hurt, but we hung in there. I'm very, very proud of the Jaguars. Are you excited about next season now? Oh, yes, sir. I mean, everybody's going to take that next step up. We've made the divisional playoffs. We're going to be ready. And the interesting thing that I noticed was on the other side was those Chiefs fans telling me a couple months ago they didn't give Jacksonville a second thought. They weren't worried about them when they played in the regular season. But everyone I talked to out of tailgating throughout the afternoon who was on the Kansas City side said they're a little nervous about those Jaguars. They got real good real quick. And they showed it again tonight even though they come out a touchdown short. We're live in Kansas City. Scott Johnson, Channel 4 the local station.